I'm delighted to be here at rehearsals today for the Ulster Orchestra's upcoming series with BBC Radio 3 and to see firsthand how they've managed to adapt to playing in a safe and socially distant way. We are in the waterfront, a great space to have the challenge of having the orchestra back in the hall again to make live music. And I'm very privileged to work with the Ulster Orchestra on symphonic repertoire again. We worked months and months to get everybody um, on the same track of having the orchestra not smaller but split up. So we have the string section this week, followed by the winds and brass, but not yet together. And it is very hard as symphony, already the word symphonic will mean communicate as close as you can together because you react on breathing of your colleague, you react on the visual aspect of what a conductor does and you are about three times further away as you are used to. And you play the same music as you would do in a normal situation, sitting close together. But we are not allowed to sit close together, which is good. It's a challenge. It gives new perspectives of why we are musicians. The Ulster Orchestra is effectively the BBC's orchestra for Northern Ireland. And we've had a long association with the BBC, both on local radio here in Northern Ireland, but also nationally on Radio 3. So, they very kindly agreed to expand their connection with us through this period up until December. So they're recording us every Friday. Some of it live, some of it for a future broadcast. Uh, so it's a really exciting time for us. One of the benefits of the uh, approach we took during lockdown with the Elster Orchestra Let's Play at Home series is that we unlocked all sorts of new followers through Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and you name it. So now you can find us in many different places, but of course, as always, our own website has plenty of information should you need to know more. Whilst it'll be a while yet before it's safe to have public performances, we look forward with excitement to joining the Ulster Orchestra on BBC Radio 3.